Good day, everybody. Uh, this is going to be a sh short little tutorial on how to set up the Sandbox utility for creating tracks in NASCAR Racing 2003 season. A couple of prerequisites are definitely needed uh, for this process. One being you'll want to create uh, it's not really a necessity, it's more a suggestion uh, but to get into the habit of creating a uh, track editing directory uh, f for creating tracks, editing tracks, what have you uh, like I've done here Enter 2003 Track Edit uh, also with a subdirectory for tracks and as you can see here I've got just about every track involved with the project in here so that would be one of your first prerequisites to do uh, very advisable um, but one that is definitely a necessity is to unpack the shared dat file that's in the NASCAR Racing 2003 season tracks shared folder you'll need dat for applying all the shared items such as safety vehicles and what have you to your tracks so yes what you would want to do is and I would suggest using the WinMIP2 utility uh, I do have it here uh, you can get the WinMIP utility currently over at the Saber Bear Project site under game add-ons and utilities download that and install it I'm going to to too much detail with that since that's uh, fairly straightforward. Um, once you have that installed, you want to go navigate to your uh, NASCAR Racing 2003 tracks shared folder, and inside that folder you'll have a DAT file named shared. You'll want to unpack that with your WinMIP2 utility. Go under extras, unpack navigate to that folder. I've already done that. Uh, what it'll actually do is create an unpacked folder and you'll want to rename that unpacked folder to shared then take that renamed shared folder cut and paste that to your track editing directory which is here. It's the same thing I just done uh, in the other directory. So that's what you want to do and it has to be unpacked in order for Sandbox to read it. You cannot simply place the dat file from the sim, from the sim into the shared folder. Uh, it, sandbox will not be able to read it. You will receive errors. So that is a necessity. Um, the only other thing would be as far as your location of your sandbox uh, program itself. I suggest, and this is not necessarily a necessity, it's more a su su suggestion, since it is an application, uh, to put the sandbox program into your either your programs or your programs x86 file directory, uh, if you're running on Windows 7 like I am, and place that in there. All, all the related utilities and applications for that like so and create a shortcut to the sandbox application on your desktop put that shortcut on your desktop and you may or may not uh, some uh, if you're running in Windows 7, as I said, like I, like I am, uh, you'll need to want to go into your properties for the shortcut, and it should already have uh, the target there as the sandbox executable. Go into the compatibility tab, check this runs program in compatibility mode 4, and choose Windows XP Service Pack 3. Click apply, OK, and that that in itself will usually take care of any uh, application open 
you know, as far as the application opening itself, as far as it just wanting to close or just simply crash. So with the, all that being done, you should be able to open the sandbox utility. This is the main window. Um, and you have other options here as far as your camera. Uh, you see nothing in there with no track loaded. And this would be your, your properties depending on which view that you're in. Um, that's typically for geometry, so that would be like all your F sections, X sections, W sections, and so on. So we'll go ahead and open a track currently being worked on. This is the 2015 Texas track. Um, as you may notice, yeah, so the textures are turned off. For some reason, that keeps keeping that off, but uh, you can see the geometry for the track. This is obviously one that's already already built, already been laid out, and it has a background image as a guide, I guess, to lay those particular geometry lines down. Uh, the green lines being F sections, the lines being W sections for walls, fences, and your red lines for your X sections to manipulate banking and such. So, in, money, in, in editing a track, I guess even as far as creation, you, know, you can follow the same process. I'm going to turn the textures back on. You can see the textures for the actual track in this mode. So, that is basically the short answer uh, to setting up your sandbox for creating a track in NASCAR Racing 2003. As, as I said, uh, uh, creating a track directory for creating your tracks. Uh, I do, don't ever suggest to put or create your track directly in uh, the game directory, the game's track directory. Um, for plenty of reasons. Uh, number one being uh, it creates more problems uh, <laughs> more than anything. Uh, but to, by putting it in a separate in a separate directory, it allows you the ability uh, to revert if, if something doesn't necessarily go right, um, as well as being able to keep um, anything that wouldn't necessarily get packed as far as your LPs, uh, track ionize and whatever. Uh, you don't typically need to pack that those items in here. The only thing that you'll need to have in here is like your your 3DOs, trackside objects, or your 3DOs, um, your TSDs for track surface decals, uh, textures for those uh, related 3DOs, and as well as your track textures that are in your track mat. Those are about the only things that really need to be uh, packed up into your DAT. Um, and there is also more than one way of being able to load the track into the game as long as it has the PTF and all the related files to that track PTF uh, that is created by Sandbox when you save a track. Um, as long as that's in there, uh, along with a couple other things, uh, you should be able to load the, load the track. Uh, and there is a reference as to which files are needed to be in there in order to run it. In testing mode, I can tell you f fair enough that in testing mode uh, you don't need that much. The only thing you really have to have when wanting to uh, run on the track just in testing mode um, is to have the track I and I, uh, any cam file that you would uh, care to test out as well, but that it's not even even the cam files aren't necessary, you know, just to be able to drive on the track. In order to drive on the track, just in testing mode, um, all you need is your the track I and I, the DAT file, or whatever. If you're going to go ahead and pack it up, or the PTF with all the related files, so basically anything that's um, in your track editing directory, any files associated that are attached to that track PTF that's created by Sandbox would need to be in the track folder. 
but as far as LPs, um, setups, things like that, those aren't needed to run in the testing mode. Now, if you're wanting to test it in a race weekend mode, yes, you will need to have um, the flagger installed. Um, you will need to have LPs um, laid out, and I can go over that in another tutorial at a later date. But um, yes, yeah, so that's just some of the main things that you will need to have as far as depending on which mode that that you're wanting to run the track in either testing or race mode. So yeah, there's much more needed, a little bit more needed anyway, as far as being able to run the track in uh, in racing conditions as far as testing. Testing you don't need as much. So uh, that's about all I can think of at this point um, as far as to set up your sandbox um, correctly and getting a track unpacked so with that being said I think that should uh, get any of you that are interested in wanting to create your own track I guess is like that and uh, some of these other uh, We'll have something, um, other tutorials, I guess, is how to explain uh, certain other things as far as getting a background image um, applied to your track. You know, so you can start laying those geometry lines down, things like that. We'll come in a later date, but for now, I think that's, uh, we'll leave it at that as far as uh, setting up, just getting your sandbox set up in there and get your track track creating I guess uh, underway so thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you again